you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for your leadership on uh, requesting this hearing, and, and thank each of you, many of you, for coming back a, uh, another time to address an issue that is important. Obviously, the DC Metro system transports nearly 200 million riders annually, and these are not just only the hardworking citizens and federal employees of the district, but people from all across the country who come here to visit and uh, look at uh, and enjoy America's treasures uh, and the, the monuments that are here. Uh, the Washington Metro was once the gold standard of public transit, and, but in recent years it's become synonymous with several other words, poor service, delays, and rampant safety concerns. And in many ways, this just adds to the unfortunate situation that WMATA riders find themselves today. This hearing uh, focuses on the efforts that WMATA uh, has sought to address some of the issues surrounding the safety and delays and general service and to work towards making sure that our DC metro system will once again deserve the moniker that it, it is indeed the best transit system in the country. You know, the metro rail system recently celebrated its 40th anniversary and while any system that has been in service for that length of time is bound to experience its fair share of maintenance problems, the WMATA metro rail system seems to be plagued by dangerous and systemic problems. In the past few years, WMATA has experienced a large number of significant accidents in passenger safety events, and certainly we can all remember not too long ago in 2015 when one passenger was, was killed uh, due to the electrical cable fire that, uh, that sparked a, an arcing incident that obviously is still under investigation and still being dealt with. It re resulted in a large amount of smoke-filled uh, rail cars. I was surprised to find that that event was just not unique. It was unique in that we had a tragic loss of, of life, but in talking to some of my staff, I found that we've had smoke-filled cars and other potential problems. Even more uh, between that, that event and the one that obviously has uh, brought us here to this additional hearing today. You know, following the July, uh, I mean the 2015 incident with the NTSB undertook an investigation and issued an urgent safety recommendation that WMATA needed to address the related electrical cables to prevent further fire hazards. Just last month, an electrical uh, cable at the McPherson Square Metro Station experienced the same type of arcing incident uh, that we had previously identified. The fact is that this same type of fire hazard is continuing to result in a major fire-related incidents raises questions as to the effectiveness of WMATA's safety efforts and the agency's oversight of WMATA. In response, WMATA and the general manager, uh, the new general manager, as my colleague pointed out, closed the metro rail system for 29 hours to conduct an emergency safety inspection. And this emphasis on safety certainly is a step in the right direction for WMATA and to get back on track the nation's premier public transit system. Uh, it created unbelievable chaos within the city on that particular day. I think uh, many people experienced unbelievable hours of, of traffic jams that they would not normally have uh, experienced uh, just because of that, that shutdown. Safety does come first, but it also shows the importance of this rail system to this city and the, the way that we do work. And so it is a must that we have to address this. Beyond the safety-related issues, w WMATA seems to be besieged by miscommunication and backbiting that sometimes you know, between the operational controls represented by the general manager's office and the policy controls represented by the WMATA board. You know, this issue was particularly visible, you know, in the aftermath of this McPherson incident where there seemed to be a public disagreement between the board and the general manager as it relates to the action necessary to get WMATA back in a state of good repair. So I look forward to each one of uh, your testimonies today working with the the witnesses to not only address the safety concerns that have really affected WMATA, 
but also to create a, a, a unified face on, for a system that we need to help restore the confidence and trust for those that, that use the system each and every day. So I'd like to thank our witnesses for attending today's hearing, for taking the time to work with this committee to ensure that when WMATA celebrates its 50th anniversary, it can do so and that we can celebrate it as being the best transit system in America. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.